Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Anne Cosma, and I'm one of the educator innovation leads on Team Flipgrid. I am so excited to welcome you to this Getting Started with Flipgrid video. In the next few minutes, I'm going to share everything you need to know to help you get started. Are you ready? Here we go. Anytime we get to share about Flipgrid, we love to start with our mission. And that is to help you empower every person on the planet to share their voice and respect the diverse voices of others. Flipgrid is social learning. So if you are new, we're so excited that you're checking this video out as you get started. Flipgrid is a free video communication platform by Microsoft, and we love to share that this is a simple, free platform to make learning fun, fulfilling, and empowering. Once you sign into your Flipgrid account, you can get started by creating your first group. Think of a group as your community. A Flipgrid group is like your classroom. It's whatever group of folks you want to invite and have video discussions with you always remain in control. You can enter your school's email domain, you can connect your Google Classroom, or you can even add specific email addresses. All you have to do is click on that blue button that says add group. After you create your group, it's time to spark a discussion with topics. This is how you get the conversation started. Think of Flipgrid topics as those questions, ideas, experiments, debates, explorations, or anything you want to do to ignite conversation amongst your community. And then, of course, your community responds with fun, short videos using all of those creative effects and options inside the Flipgrid camera. And this is where the magic happens. Your community can begin to engage in these video discussions. They can view, comment, and leave feedback on all the videos shared throughout your community. As my good friend and teammate, Jornay Armand, always says, if you can think it, you can flip grid it. And there are endless possibilities from pre-K to PhD and beyond for how you can use Flipgrid to empower every voice in your community. So whether it's a first day of school introduction, sharing how to pronounce your name, or wrapping up the semester with a creative musical expression, you can use Flipgrid in so many creative ways to empower every voice and level up the fun and learning too. You can head on over to flipgrid.com and if needed, click on that blue sign up button. Let's hop into the platform and push a few buttons together and I'll show you how simple and easy it is to get started. Once you're there, simply click on the button that says get started and you can start by creating your first group. Remember I said click on that blue plus sign that will allow you to create your first group. And some details that you need to add are simply giving it a name, choosing how you want your members to access the group, and changing editing settings to customize. Let me click a few buttons. Notice I've gotten started by creating my group name and giving it a title. For this sample, I'll choose Room 4. Now, all you have to do is manage your members and choose one of these options for how you would like to add members to your group. If you utilize a school, Microsoft, or Google account, you definitely can use this, and I would recommend it. It's simple. All you have to do is add your domain. That's everything that comes after the at symbol. I added flipgrid.com for this example. If your students do not have a school email domain or perhaps young scholars and not familiar with using those accounts, you could utilize the student username or member option. This means that you would manually add your members by sharing a first name, a last name, and giving them a unique username. These usernames can be simple as two characters. It's a good option for young scholars. You can even sync your Google Classroom if that's what you're familiar with using. 
I'm going to use the school email domain as this option since that's what the majority of you will likely be using. Now, it's that simple. You can create your group or you can click at the top on settings and customize a few other things within your group. I'm going to go ahead and simply click create group. And it's that simple. Your group is ready. We create an introduction topic for you, but I want to point out how simple it is to share this group with your community. You could utilize the QR code option, share to Google Classroom, share your embed code and sync it in an LMS if you wish. You could even share directly to Microsoft Teams. And you can utilize those social sharing options as well. But friends, it's also as simple as copying and pasting, writing the code on the board, or projecting this on the screen in your classroom. All right, are you ready? Let's get going. I wanna show you how simple it is to create a topic. And you'll notice that blue button that says add topic. I created my group called Room 4, and for this sample, let's just start with a day one introduction. Again, you can customize your details by filling in the fields or further customize with those settings. Let me go ahead and add some information now. So I've added a title and a description, and I wanna point out that your topic descriptions can be as simple or as sophisticated as you want it to be. For this day one intros topic, I've simply written that in 30 seconds or less, I'd love for my students to share an introduction and how to pronounce their name. So now there are a few more things I can do real quick. I can add topic media to engage those of my members joining into this topic. This is a really creative way, whether it's videos, GIFs, a topic link or attachment, an emoji, anything you want to share to engage your students. I'm gonna go ahead and select a very quick picture and maybe I just share this little smiley face. That way they're greeted with a fun smile. In my description, I said 30 seconds or less, so please know you can edit your recording time and choose anything from 15 seconds to 10 minutes. I'd encourage you to choose a recording time that matches your learning goal for this topic. And friends, it's that simple. You simply can save this topic to your group or if you wish, go into the settings and further customize your topic. I'm going to point out a few things that are important to know within the settings. If you wish to, you can moderate these topics. And what this means is you view and approve member activity. That's a simple toggle switch. And again, this is available for anybody and those responses and comments will stay hidden until you choose to make them active in your topic. Additionally, you can choose what type of comments your students have access to, whether it's video and text, video only, text only, or none. And of course, I love to point out the captions feature. This is a brilliant way that you can provide additional supports in your response videos and the videos your members submit. Now, speaking of responses, you can customize these settings as well. Whether or not you want your students to have access to them or not, these are simple toggles and you always remain in control of these topic settings. And speaking of settings, the camera, essentials, and expressions. Of course, I would use all of these and give access, but if you want to determine when you want your students to use these essentials and expressive camera features, again, it's a simple toggle that you are in control of. And there is a guest password option if you would like to invite guests to your topic, simply toggle that in and create your topic password. Friends, it's that simple. Change the settings if needed, but make sure you have your details set and then all you have to do is click Save to Group. Are you ready? Here we go. Remember, you have all of these awesome sharing options, 
But when you are here in the topic view, remember this is your educator admin and there are no responses yet. So it's definitely time to get the conversation started. As soon as you share that join code with the members of your community, they simply launch the free Flipgrid app or head over to flipgrid.com and enter that join code. And all they'll do is authorize in according to the settings you determine and click that button that says add response. So now I'm pretending to be a student or member inside my own Flipgrid response. So I've launched the camera and you'll see across the bottom all of these creative option effects and of course the backdrops you can use. So let's quickly explore the options. Your students have the ability to upload their own clips. They could even utilize the mic only mode if they want to, want to remain off camera. This is great for student podcasting or simply staying off camera. Additionally, the mirror video option is a super great tool for text on screen, conducting interviews, or even talking about point of view. You can mute the background audio if needed. And of course, I want to point out this screen recorder. This is a powerful feature for your community to capture their screen recordings right here inside the Flipgrid camera. Think of your PowerPoints, your Google slide decks, or even your Minecraft worlds. You can record anything with the built-in screen recorder option. And of course, if you need to toggle between front and rear facing cameras, just click on that device setting. And of course, your students can use these effects simply by clicking on the magic wand icon. And they have access to all of those creative stickers, a text tool, an annotating tool with inking and pen. You have the ability to utilize those really creative boards as well as using boards in split screen mode. Additionally, add your own elements with all of those creative emoji stickers. Utilize GIFs or GIFs and upload your own custom media. And of course, cap it all off with a beautiful frame. You can get all of this simply by clicking on that magic wand button for all of these effects. And of course, this new feature inside of Flipgrid, all of those incredible creative backdrops. Simply click on that backdrops open icon, the backdrops icon, and you can find all of these as well as use your own photo or video, utilize your screen as a backdrop, or simply blur the backdrop. So many creative possibilities with these backdrops as well as moving yourself on screen. How cool is that? Or choosing where you wanna go. Pretty cool, right? And it's as simple as clicking that record. Three, two, one. And responding to the Flipgrid prompt. And then just clicking on that button that says next. Let's check this out. And oh my gosh, friend, right? Let me pause this for just a second and show you. You can even add music. You have so many different chill, fun, energetic, inspiring, sentimental, and simply preview it or add it to your response. And the possibilities are endless. So go ahead and click next. Yeah, I'm gonna rock that selfie and simply click submit. And of course the magic begins as your student responses begin to come in. You can simply click on them and engage, or when you're back in your educator admin view, click on those student responses. And if you choose to, begin to engage back. You can even toggle between public and private comments when you're responding with feedback for your students. And be sure to share it or know that you can always find that super awesome Flipgrid augmented reality QR code simply by clicking on share. And friends, that's it. It's time to start your community. It takes only minutes to get started and you are set to begin and spark those meaningful discussions to inspire your learners to share their voice and share their creativity. When you're ready to create your free account and get started, you can simply head to flipgrid.com.
You can find inspiration immediately once you are inside your Flipgrid account. Just click on the button that says Discovery at the top and you will find thousands of enriching, ready to use topics created and shared by fellow educators as well as featured partners. These topics are ready for you to inspire and empower your learning community. And on behalf of Team Flipgrid at Microsoft, please know we are here to help and answer all your questions. The Flipgrid Help Center is fully embedded throughout the Flipgrid experience, but you can find answers to all of your frequently asked questions and find awesome resources. Explore the Help Center or reach out to our support team simply by visiting help.flipgrid.com. It's an honor to get to share this journey with you to empower every voice. Please get connected on social. You can find us at Flipgrid or using the hashtag Flipgrid for all. We love seeing the creative ways you share and the incredible things you do to empower every voice. 